Hi everyone, this is Tim B. Welcome back to Tim B's Tech Talk. Today I want to talk about how to use Google Slides and hyperlinks. One of the advantages of having an application like Google Slides is that it works in the cloud. It works in a browser, so you have some unique features. One feature that I really like though is the ability to link one presentation to another presentation. So here you can see a presentation that I've set up call this like my main body presentation and occasionally I will integrate other content from other presentations that focus on very specific things and or assignments so for example let's just say <clears throat> at the end of this little sequence here I want to add another presentation that I'll hold have over here which is basically referencing some articles so I'll select and copy all of those slides go back to this one and paste them down below and you see you get an option uh, you can choose do not link or link to presentation I'm going to select link to original presentation and what that's going to do is leave a little link symbol at the top right when you click on it you can see here you can choose to unlink it or view the the linked objects that you have now the great thing about this is that if you're Working with multiple presentations in Google Slides, um, you kind of have to treat them like master slides. So this article slides, I could have you know, a whole slew of slides like this that are related to articles that I want to incorporate into other presentations. So when you go into this master slide, let's just say I decide to call the title of this article RAM instead of memory modules and when I go back to the slide that these slides were added to I can then go in and update the link and you do so by just selecting update you'll see like a little message appear on that slide click update and you can see it changes that title to correspond with the original master slide and this is great for those of you who like to use multiple presentations and, and occasionally combine them. And you can think of the original presentation that the, that the copied content is coming from as different layers of segment slides. So for example, I have another one here where sometimes I will add key terms to another presentation. Uh, so I'll do the same thing. I select all copy add them to my master slide so maybe I want to include a discussion about keywords after the articles and likewise it'll ask me if I want to link the originals I'll say yes and you see there's a little linked icon that appears here too and likewise if I go to key terms and just say maybe I decide decide to get away get rid of persistent storage just leave fixed disk and go back to the original where I pasted that from go to that slide you'll see I get a message for update select update and it now coincides with my original master slide now another feature that I like is the ability to link to other slides this is pretty common though with any presentation tool uh, but you haven't done this before so for example here I have a, a contents page set up on my main slideshow and I just say I want to link this to the segment that I introduced called articles, which is on slide seven. So I'm going to press command K and I'm just going to go to slide seven and hit apply. Now usually it gives you this hyperlink highlight by default, but you don't have to go with that color if you don't want you can get rid of the underline and you can actually add your own color and the hyperlink will be preserved so if I was to go and present this press articles and it takes me right to the article section now another really cool feature is how hyperlinks are preserved when you save your presentations to PDFs this is great when you want to give your students a resource to refer to that you know, if it includes material that was covered in class, so you just go to download and then choose PDF and then download the document. And when you're viewing your PDF in a browser, you'll notice that all the hyperlinks have been preserved. So, for example, this link that I attached to articles takes me to the articles page, 
and any hyperlink that you added, like in the case of this particular article, if you click on it, you'll see that it'll open up a browser to read that article. And it even works when you're using video. So the PDF obviously preserves the video, the, the video slide as a static image, but as you can see, the hyperlink has been preserved for this video. So when you click on it, it'll actually take you right to the YouTube video that you showed in your presentation. And that's Google Slides. I hope this presentation was helpful. Uh, I really like Google Slides, but of course, a lot of the stuff can be used with other presentation tools like Microsoft and Keynote. Uh, but I do like the unique feature that comes with Google Slides that enables you to link to other slides in case you want to input slides from another presentation. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. You can also check me out at timbstechtalk.com.